up that we look at. Then we will um, also be doing a little bit of moving and some a little bit of cardio, and then we'll go into strength training, standing as well as a functional movement that will help you as a, a pregnant woman or you know soon to be mom, which is so exciting. Um, but anyways, the place that's posting, we're going to go ahead and start in one, two, three, do what you can do. And remember, most importantly, have fun, okay? If something doesn't feel good, don't do it. All right, here we go. We're going to take a little stretch. Hang on. There we go. Take a little stretch. Sorry. Good. And bring it down. There you go. Big stretch. Good. Bring it down. We got it. Okay, we're going to push across right here. Push across. Now just wrap your arm around your head. Around your head. Around your head. Now with the right arm, swing to the right and left. And then big stretch up. And left and right. Big stretch to the left. Good. And swing right, left. And reach to the right. One more time and left. Two. Okay, now stay facing this direction. Knees and toes. We're going to lunge it. Two. Three. Heel back forward. Stretch it front, back. And then pivot around to the other side. And one. Two, three, go back four, stretch it front, back, and circle. Try that again. Just put those one, two, three, line it all up. Four, and stretch. Reach and around. One more time, and one, two, everything squared. The vertical stacking to that lunge. Okay, we'll come back to the center and push it across. Push it across. Now wrap it around. All right, what do I get this recording for? Hang in there and push it across. I can't see what I'm doing here. Now wrap it around. Okay, let's face to your right, lunge it. Two, three, heel back four, stretch it front, back, big circle. One, two, three, heel back four, stretch it front, back, and circle. Now remember that figure eight with the arms, circle eight, figure eight with the arms, big reach. Let them go. Swing and reach. And one. And two. Big reach. And one. Nice. Okay, now lock. And look, you're scared and you're squared to that wall. Lunge it. Two. Little tiny ones. Heel back. Front. Back. And breathe as you reach overhead. And other side. Two. Three. Heel back. Four. Front. Back. And circle. Come on, two more times. One. Two, nice and square. Three, back four. Good. One more time. Last time. Two, three. Kneel back four. Stretch exactly. Keep Quick overall body stretch. Now let those arms swing and reach and swing left, right. Reach left and swing right, left. Reach right. One more time. Left. Right, okay, now here we are. We're square to that wall over there and reach for it. Two, three, heel back four, stretch it front, back, and circle. And one, two, make sure you're all lined up here vertically stacked. Knee and hip and shoulder on that lunge. Come on, two more times. One, two, three, breathe. Good, and one. Have seen that big strip. Reach. Good. Now let's just press your back heel back. Arms bind your head. Big stretch there. There we go. And then let's try it the other way too. Perfect. I'm going to broaden my screen here. Hang on. There we go. All right. So we're just marching. Let's just get our cardio going there. We're marching. Marching it out. Marching it out. Okay, now we're gonna march low. March low. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna roll day up on our tippy toes. Pull it all together right here. Four, get down. Three, four. Heads up. Not down my back. I'm standing tall. Now, two step the other steps to the right. A little dip in the knee. Two to the left. Just keep going with the double. Now, do eight singles. Three, four, five, six. Seven, a kind of low down, double right, double up, double right, double 
the left. Now eight singles go. One, you can add to mark. So the ideas get partnered up. Six, seven, eight. Now march it. Five, six, eight, up. Five, six, seven. Now now squat and raise and squat and raise. Sit back in those heels. Squeeze the glutes, pull the center in. Slow control. My feet are hip distance apart. Keep it going and reach for it. Pull it in. You might not only go to here, but that's okay. You do what you can too. Back to the little step here steps. This time I'm turning my feet out. Nice. Double up. Now do eight singles. One, two with a push. One, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to march low. March low. Down here. Pulling it all together. Now I'm relevating up to the Breathe down one more time. Pull it in tight. Build it. Good. Now let's get in that squat position. Feet hip distance apart. Reach for it. Good. If that bothers your back, you can always put your hands here on your legs as well. Because the bigger you get this way when you're low, it takes a little more energy to do it right. So pull it in tight. Use hand support on the legs if you need it. It's super okay. There you go. Squeeze the glutes when you come up. Think about focusing on squeezing the glutes. Two more. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. One more time like that. Inhale. Exhale as you press. So let's step together. Step. Little tiny ones. Little tiny ones. Now singles, side to side. Three, four, five, six, seven, double right. Pump it up. Pump it up. Use your arms if you want. Yup, a little more intense. Go overhead. Two more singles or doubles. Now eight singles. Push it. Seven. How do you feel you're working? March down. Feel like you're working somewhat hard to heart? Perfect. You want to get that heart rate up. Down. Now, let's say you're super fit. This was easy. You could add a skip. Okay? You could do whatever it takes to more intensify it. Okay? Bring it up. Okay, now last time, sit in that squat. Sit in the squat. And lift. Sit in the squat. And lift. Now, now, pull on both sides. Protect it. Hinge forward a little bit. Just a little bit. You're doing most of the movement in your legs. Good. Come on up. Now, chair or wall. Hold on to it. Give it a little kick around. Loosen it up. Yeah. Maybe you want to grab it. Grab it. Side's hard for me. Yep. Good. Then shake it out. Okay, then we're going to try this side. So keep it front and back. Just relax it when you do it. And then see if you can grab it. Seven. Maybe even down. All right, I want you to go ahead and pick up your weights. Uh, if you don't have weights, you could grab some water bottles. Something a little on the easier side. Okay? So go ahead and grab your weights. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just do a little movement here to get our arms back. We're going to start with the row, nice and strong. So we're going to take a lunge. Notice I have the head uh, diagonal line from my head back to my back heel. Okay, the arms are going to be down in this knee. I'm going to row it and lower. Row it and lower. Good. Stay tall. My head's going to be up. I'm pulling in through my center. Always. That will help you with pelvic tilting. And carry probably tilting as well. You got it. Think about squeezing the shoulder blades together. Good. Two more. Okay, now you're going to hold it back. Hold it back. Good. Now watch what we're going to do. From here, kick it back. We're going to out, in. A little quicker on this one. So make the movement a little smaller. Accentuate this lengthening of the arm. Lengthen it. 
Lengthen it. Two more. Good. One more. Good. Now come in the middle. A little breather. Breathe in. Drop it down. Exhale. Let's do that again. Breathe in. Let it all go. There you go. Good. Now I want you to round your back. Watch from the side. I'm going to actually round my back. This might feel like a good stretch for some of you, okay? Now we're going to go the other way. I'm going to bring my weights back. But I don't want you to press your pelvis forward unless you're holding on to the hip flexors and squeeze them as you just lift up a little bit like this. Nice. Okay, let's take it to the opposite side. We're going to do that row again. Okay. So now we're on the opposite leg. We've got the diagonal line. Katie Perry singing the snow. This is how we do it. Let's go up. Down. And row. And down. Three. We're going 12 here. Four. That's it. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on. Four more. Head up. Nine. Focus on squeezing the shoulder blades. Back. Up. Eleven. Now, hold it here in 12. Twelve. Now, you can go slower. And in. Take it back. And in. If your back starts to bother you, standing like this might help you a little bit better. Your feet pretty wide apart, just like that. Yeah, lunge or this. You tune into your body. What feels best? Four more. Come on. It's one. Try steps. Kick them back. Two. Three. One more. Hold it. Hold it. Nice. Let's take a little relaxing movement for our upper body. Very nice. Okay, let's put one of the weights down. Just hold one in your hands. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and grab the weight just like this. Okay. I want you to see what my feet are going to be doing here. Always watch your space around you. See, now you can't see my head. I just don't have the angle today. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's try that. All right. So we're going to do a sumo squat. Okay. That means your feet are turned out corners of the room and your heels are a little wider than your shoulders. All right, so we're going to take a sumo squat or a plie down and reach up. Good, we'll take it down and reach up. Squeeze in the glutes, abductors, abductors, abdominals, shoulders, lots going on here. Now, if you have shoulder problems or you are just tired today, just listen to here. Okay, so we can modify it a little bit, right? Remember, tune into what your body feels like today. Do what you can do. I'll give you lots of options. Keep it going. Down. Whew, breathe with it. Inhale down. Exhale to reach up. Good. One more. Hold it down. Now, give it a little curl and pull. Curl and a pull. My elbows are tight to my sides. Now, hold it. Or you can try a little more challenging with the heels up. That's hard. Yep. Now, heels down. Squeeze and come up. Nice job. Excellent. All right. So now what we're going to do right now is we're going to do our, I like to call this the, the diaper bag exercise. Okay. So we're going to stand with our feet hip distance apart. We're carrying the weight in just one, one side of our body. Okay. It's a unilateral exercise. Why would we be doing this? A couple good reasons. You're going to be carrying things on one side of your body a lot. Okay, so we're practicing. We're performing for this exercise. So we're going to curl it up from the side. It's going to look like this. I'm going to curl it up. So I'm going to press it up, but not quite over my head. We'll be in front a little bit and lower. Okay, so it's up, reach, down, and curl. Curl, press. Now, this whole part of your body is working right now because you're weighted on one side. So what do you think is going to happen? Look, the core is going to be working without you doing crunches or anything like that. Good. Keep going. Pull it in tight. Bend your knees a little bit more. Good. Let's do two more after this one. Yeah. Try it. You can do it. Curl it. Press it. Think about in your kitchen how many times you reach down for something, then you reach up, and then go, what up to that top shelf? Good, and bring it down. Nice. Let's switch hands with that way. Kick it around. Circle it. Yeah. Nice. And all of that. 
Okay, again, foot stance, feet are slightly apart. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna curl it up. We're gonna press it. We're gonna lower it and then curl. So curl it, hammer curl it, press it, and lower. Curl, press, lower, and curl. Do it again. Curl, press, down, and curl. Perfect. You're holding that body still. Which side is easier? So for me, the left side feels easier, even though it's my not a strong side. Maybe because my right side's pulling in tight on this side. Counterbalance my body. Two more. Curl, press. Down, and curl. One more. Breathe. Nice job. All right. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Now, just again, right here. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take the uh, one legged deck that we've been working on. I'm going to bring this down so you can see if my feet are done just a little bit more. All right. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start with our weight in our right hand. Okay, this is a really super good one for those hip stabilizers, right? And then uh, supporting leg is going to be doing a lot of the work. While the right arm is going to reach for the floor, the right leg is going to go back, just like that, okay? If you want, you can put the weight down on the floor like this. And then I have, I have a focus point to focus to. Usually you put that right directly under your hand as you reach out. So let's try. We'll do 12 each side. Relax the supporting leg. Let's reach down for that weight. And then come up. Always come all the way up. Good. And take it down. Pull your center in. Now, if you feel like you're really unstable, look, I got the wall right behind me. But you could also have a piece of furniture. Okay? So just reach. Do your best. You might not be able to go down all the way to the floor. And that's okay. Do what you can do. If you can balance there. That's it. Keep going. Please oh, keep going. Sorry about that. There we go. I don't know if that'll come back on. That's okay. So by now you're probably on like nine. We'll say that. Ten. Good. Let's keep going. Eleven. And when you get all wobbly, readjust yourself really strong and then start again. Nice. Good, we'll say that was 12 on that side. Okay, now with your feet, hip distance apart, bend the knees and just do a hip roll in all directions. Okay, we're mo I'm keeping the hips nice and mobile. This probably feels really good too. And because everything gets tight, especially in your hips, the baby gets bigger, your body's shifting around with your center of gravity. Okay, don't forget if you put that weight on the floor, do not trip on it. So we're gonna move to the other side. Okay, so now I'm my left side and my left leg. Okay, again, if you need that furniture, totally okay. Okay, so let's start center. Let's get ourselves vertically stacked. Ear, shoulder, ribs, hips, knees, and ankle. Relax the knees a little bit. We don't want to be straight leg because we'll cut in anterior. I mean, we'll, we'll anterior so much. Probably still get there. Okay, so hand down. Ready? Reaching for that weight as the leg comes up. Good, we'll come up all the way to the top. Good, try it again. There you go. You got it. Stand tall and lower. And remember, do what you can do. Try not to scrunch your toes up in your shoes. No. Whoops, see? This is my bad side. I'm just going to do it there. And try it again. Straighten up and go. Nice. Nice and tall. Keep it going. Okay, just think of it as a lever. Slowing down. As the arms go down, the leg reaches up. We got three more. There we go. We just do a big breath. Oh, my foot's hitting the wall. <laughs> and one more. Good job. All right, right here. This time we're gonna do a figure eight with our hips. Figure eight. Okay, we're stretching all the hip flexors, the abductors, even the adductors. Nice one. Excellent. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's grab this weight. 
Now you can grab both of them on this one. Okay, so we're gonna do something. I like to do this one song, great song. It's called a swimmer. I'm gonna stand with my feet this far apart. Arms are straight to my side. Starting to be behind me, I'm gonna bend my knees. I'm just gonna lift up a little bit. Like that, yep. Three, swimmer. Four, five, squeeze those triceps. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more and hold it. Excellent, woo, nice one. All right, let's take our feet real wide here. Get really relaxed. Roll our shoulders up, back, down and around. Good, try that again. Nice. All right, this time we're gonna do some curling, okay? It's gonna be a mom on the feet. So we're going to have to have strong arms, carry those babies around, right? All right, I'm from the side. Notice my elbows are into my hips, my knees are relaxed. Okay, big breath. Exhale. And inhale. Good. We're doing it slow and controlled. And down. Good. Exhale on the exertion. And inhale. And exhale. And down. You've got to keep it going in. Up. Squeeze those biceps and lower. And lengthen the biceps and curl them. And down. Keep it going. Let's do. Free up in this one. Notice my knees are relaxed. I kind of like to bounce through the beat. Two more. Come on now. Try not to squeeze your waist. Keep your hands somewhat relaxed. Nice work. There you go. Roll them one at a time. One at a time. Yes, very good. And one at a time. One more time. Nice. Okay, we're going to come on down to the floor. Okay? So you can put your weights somewhere close to your mat. I'm not, I don't think we'll be using them. If you have your fender ball, get the fender ball. Or the pillow. Remember, I also showed you how to use the pillow. Okay, so get all that stuff. We'll come on down. So you can see the mat. I've got my fender ball here. Right here. Mm -hmm. So again, if you don't have one of these, this works really good. This little, I call it my hot dog pillow, but it's super good for a back support because it's kind of, you want something that, the thing is that it gives a little bit, okay? That's why well, this is called a bender ball. So if you don't have the bender, get the pillow. It's okay, let's bring ourselves around here. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take this bender ball, I'm gonna push it down and under my tailbone. Okay, I'm gonna lean into a little bit, just a little bit. Like that. Okay, now start with a straight back. Arms out in front of you, palms are up. And all I'm going to do is curve my back into the ball. See how it bends into it? Good. Now lift it up. Straight up. Pull your center in as you do that. Okay, it's a small reverse roll. Good. Now pull it back up. Pull it in tight. Think, pull it in tight. If the bender ball starts to get away, just back in there. Roll back. Chin can come to the chest. The bigger you are, the harder these movements are. So just be gentle. Little tiny tear is cool. Yep. Good. Lift it up. Nice. Okay, now we're going to do our bow and arrow. Pull it back. And lift. And pull it back. And lift it up. Now, as I come back, I'm feeling the small of my back push into that ball. And lift. And they do kind of get away sometimes. You just adjust them. Lift it. Good. Roll back. And lift. I'm really pulling in tight through my center. And back. And lift. One more time. Each way. Nice. And lift it up all the way. You got it. Last one. Good. Take it here. Let's take our hands under our knees and round back into that ball. Good. Now lift up. Let's see you stack those shoulders over the hips. Good job. Nice going. Nice straight back there. All right. We're going to take the bender ball and we are going to um, come on down to the floor. However, you can get there. Uh, the bender ball is going to come between, right between our uh, little above our knees there. Remember the ways you can get down. You can challenge yourself in reach or you can challenge yourself as you you get, you're going to need arm support. So come down gently, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and place our feet under our knees. 
Like pretty good angle. You can't come all the way in. Some of you might be more relaxed the longer your legs are. Okay, if taller you are, you might be more relaxed here. So just place that ball here. This is a good time for us to center ourselves. Take a nice big breath. And then I'm gonna we're gonna work on our yes, our core in here as we expand and expel the air. Good. Our core canister. Okay, so right now diaphragm muscles as we breathe in. And expel the air. And for our lower core canister muscles, our pelvic floor muscle groups, we're gonna squeeze the balls we get to the top and we're gonna hold a kegel, okay? Or we like to call them pelvic floor contraction, okay? So let's take a big reach up. We got pelvis up. Good. Now, right here, we're gonna pelvic tilt. Now, squeeze the ball. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do two more today. Nine and ten. Good. Now try to relax the floor muscles. You'll feel it if you're doing it right. And then roll it back down. Slow and controlled. Good. When your bottom hits the floor, nice big breath. Expand that rib. 360 breathing. Okay, now fill the air. Hold that back into the floor. Now this time, let's go up. See if you can do each time to contract it on a squeeze. 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 Keep it going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now hold ten. Roll it down nice and easy. Yeah, right to the floor. Perfect. Now pull the knees to your chest and then roll them around. Slot in that roll of that. You can take that palm out if you want. Yep. Go both directions. That wasn't so bad. Good job. Okay, now let's in our fetal position. We're we'll roll on our side. Yup. We're gonna use this ball either to support us here, right? Or something you might want to use it here. All right. Uh, the bigger you are, this is probably gonna be very beneficial for you to kind of help you. You can even stuff it down a little bit and help your tummy be supported, whatever works. Fender balls, a cool thing, and then you know. Okay, so we want to have our feet lined with our hips on this one. We start with our soft clam shells. Okay, so we're gonna relax our neck. We're just gonna open and close the legs, just like that. All right, keep the hips stacked, one on top of the other. Keep going. You got it. six. I think we added some of this the other day. Eight, nine. You got it. We're going for twelve. 10, 11, looking good, and 12. Now lower it down, knees line up. We're gonna extend that top leg. My foot is flexed towards you. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, lift, abduction. Here we go, up and down, using the abductor muscle group. You got it. Hang in there, eight, nine. See how this could work, 10. 11, 12. Now, little circles if you can do more. Little circles. We added this one on Tuesday. Yeah, it's a juicy at the end of it. Because it starts to scream in here. Ow! Yep. Okay, now rest that leg back behind the other one. Okay, again. This also helps stabilize you so you don't tip over on your back here. Now we're going inside thigh. So now it's the bottom leg. Work into the top leg. Four. Good. Seven. Looking good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. One more. And now extend that bottom leg down. Flex the toe towards the knee and add that up and down. There you go. You got, keep breathing. You don't have to breathe every time. Try to breathe as naturally as you can. On the more, a really hard step at the end is when you really focus on, on the exertion and the exhale in the air. Good, and bring it in. Good, now we're gonna roll to our back and take the leg we started with. So for me, it's my right leg, it was abducting, I'm gonna 
extend it up. I'm going to flex and point my toe. And I'm going to also circle it around. Oh, yeah. That's right. Cricking and cracking. There you go. Now put this foot down on the opposite knee. You can turn that hip out as much as you can and just press it. Or if you want a little more intense, you can reach through. Get that nice abductor stretch because that was the muscle we were really working hard there on. And abductor. Okay, we're going to switch to the other side. You can just roll on over. I'm going to give, I just call this my triple dance. <laughs> Good, we're going to come back on our side. Okay, here we are. Getting our feet in line with our hips. Good, and we're just going to climb shell up and down. Three, try to keep the neck as straight as you can. That's it. Perfect. Eight, four more. Keep it going. Nice. Three, one more. Four. Now, stretch that leg out and lift. And lift. Nice. You got it. There you go. Abductions kicking in. Feel that? Seven right there. Yep. Eight. And this right side might feel like it tires faster because you use the other side on both sides. You use the other side when you are, or this side when you do the other side. Circle it again. Oh, yeah. Little tiny ones, little tiny ones. Remember, rest in one knee. Okay. okay. Last two. Oh, yeah. Feel that? Ooh. Good. Now put it back behind the other foot. Wow. I'm feeling my abductors outside those hips. Now, adduct. Mm -hmm. Adduct. Perfect. And again, you've got it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Seven. Yep. Nine, we're almost there. Ten, breathe. Now extend that leg out. Bottom leg. Try to keep those hips squared to me as you lift. That's why the ball's handy for doing this. There you go. Nice. Nice. One more. Ooh, yeah, nice. Okay, here we go. We're rolling back over into our back, taking that opposite leg, stretching up. For me, it's going to be my left. Then I'm going to extend it up. I'm going to flex and point it. Flex and point. Try to relax my neck and shoulders. Roll it around. Nice. And then put that foot right down on that knee and try to turn it out. Yep. Now, remember, you can either... Just put it right here and press it open. That might be enough stretch for you. Totally okay. Right, and then, or a little more here. Good. You'll feel that abductor stretch really good. Perfect. All right, we're going to bring it on to our side. Yeah, and we're going to come all the way up on all fours. So we want our hands under our shoulders. Spread your fingers. I like to do that because it feels like I have a better face as support here. And then my knees are under my hips, okay? I'm going to pull them through the center so I'm in a neutral, back neutral position. And I'm going to reach with my right arm and my left leg. Reach, put it, and bring it down. And switch. And reach. And lower. Notice my shoulder lines up right with my ear. Hopefully my foot with my hip. And switch. Good. And reach. And bring it in. Good. Keep going. And reach. Good. And pull it in. And yes, are you using your core? You better believe it. Good. And then pull it all tight. It'll keep you square to the floor. Keep going. Nice. And reach. Good. And lower. And reach. And lower. Again. And lower. Okay, now this time we're going to hold it. Ready? Hold it. Nice. Good. Now switch. Take your time and just the square. Reach and hold it. 
Nice, bring it down. Now, cat stretch right into it. Chin into the chest, round your back up to the ceiling like a cat. Good, now we're gonna go down the other way. So be careful when you go this way. For some of you in your third trimester, it might not feel so good. This is what you can do. I don't have a lot of flexion that way. So then from there, watch, find your neutral spine. Now I went right into my center there, everything was lined up. And then scoot all the way back into your child's pose. And just stretch. Then you can, you can spread your knees. The bigger you get, the knees can come out. It'd be great. You can get that tummy right to the floor there. Good job. Let's come on around to our side. And we're going to come on down and onto our elbow. We're going to be working on our side plank here. Okay. So on this one, super simple. Feet can be a little bit more forward than lined up with your hips. Because sometimes when people lift, they torque your hips a little bit. So when you when you get up in that position, you feel like your feet might need to come forward. You can move them forward slightly. Okay. And then we're going to try and hold for 30 seconds. It doesn't mean you need to hold it for 30 seconds. Just do your the best you can. And most importantly, is that elbow. Is it under your shoulder? Okay. So hand down. We're going to raise for 30. Ready? Here we go. Baby Karen. Let's do it. Reach and hold. Or you can stretch it out. A little more advanced. We're here. Halfway there. I like to reach up here. Makes me feel like it's pulling my body up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Good. Let's take our feet out in front of us. We're going to shake them out. Yep. Sit up nice and tall. Our arms are behind us. They're supporting our body, so we're sitting up. Big reach up. Good. And then we're going to open it out. And we're going to go over to one side. Give a nice stretch. Good. Good. Open it on the sides. Good. And bring it around to the other side. There we go. Good. Okay. Now we're going to switch around to the other side. So we're bringing our, our elbow down on this opposite side. Mm -hmm. Knees are forward. Okay. Line them up. And if you want more base of support, kind of bring them down a little bit. Okay. So let's get that elbow under the shoulder. Stack it up. Big breath. Let's take a breather before we start. And let it out. Think about expanding the ribs. Breathe in. And spell the air. All right. We're ready. Don't hold your breath when you're up. Let's go for it. You can extend the leg and make it a little, little more step up, or if you can do both legs, try that too. But just be, be gentle right here. Tune in. Halfway there. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and one, bring it down. Nice job. Excellent. Good job. Woo, that was hard. That last one. Okay, shake them out. Shake them out. Yep. Nice one. Okay, let's take a big stretch up. Breathe in. Let's take those side stretches again over to the side, reaching over. Oh, yeah. Good. Let's switch sides. Good. Bring it center. Here we come on, on to all fours here. So let's come on to our hands and our knees again. Yeah, we're going to stack, stretch up. We're going to cow stretch down. Good. Then let's hit neutral position right there in the middle. Nice. Now come up onto the knees. You're going to take one foot forward. Notice I move my foot in front of my knee. And then I'm just going to lean into it. Be gentle here on those hip flexors. If you're feeling a, a left hip flexor, and probably your right underneath your hip right there. Good, now try to straighten that leg out. And you might not even be able to reach the floor. You might just want to hold it here. Just don't put pressure on the knee. Good, let's switch legs. Be gentle, switch. Lean into it. So I'm really pressing that hip forward. So be gentle here, right? 
Body's up nice and straight. Okay, we're gonna bring it back. Flex that front toe. Good, you can reach it down. Nice. So let's come all the way up. All the way, standing. Okay, let's take a nice big breath all the way up. Good, take it down. And breathe it up. Good, and take it on down. Let's take turns to the side and press our right heel to the floor. Right heel to the floor. I'm the heck of time I angle my cameras. <laughs> to the floor. Good, now let's see if we can shift our weight to our front foot. Lift up. And just see if you can balance. Just lift your foot off the floor. Balance. Nice. Bring it down. Good. We're going to switch to the other side. Tap an Achilles stretch and push my heel to the floor. Okay, now just think about it. In life, you shift your body weight all the time. We're going to shift to the front. Good. Now I'm going to lift up a little bit that leg. Poor leg. Now reach for the stars. Use your furniture if you need to, the wall, whatever. Put your back leg up and down. Good. Come to center. One more big stretch. Take it up. And exhale down. Let's take a little side stretch. Good, lift it up. Circle around, big circle, and breathing in and exhaling in air. And reverse. Good, lift it up. And circle. Very nice. Keep together, big breath up. Good, we're going to swan dive over just a little bit down. So, so from the side, you can see what I mean? I'm coming down. Flat back. Let me go. One more time. Nice job. Bend the knee slightly. We're going to circle to the right. Circle with the trunk all the way around. Good. Reverse it. Good. Nice job, everyone. Big breath. Big breath in. Good. Reach it up and let it all out. You guys have a spectacular day. Next week, there's going to be two pre-recorded sessions. I will be out of town visiting my daughter.